Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's go into the another compound of boron that is orthoboric acid. So the formula is BOH3 actually. So this is little white crystalline solid and soaked in touch. You can also write this as S3BO3. Both if you see, both has three hydrogens, three oxygens and one boron. So both of the formula is valid formula. And they are uh, spraling, I mean they are not that much soluble in cold water, but soluble in hot water. Similar to borax. In the structure if you see, this is a boron and I have three OH molecules here. Here also if you see, the boron has six electrons here, it is deficient of electron. Correct. And this is the shape, structure of this and it generally forms this kind of cage like structure where if you see, it has formed this structure. There is a hydrogen bonding between oxygen and hydrogen here, similar to water also if you see, water if you see uh, H2O, right, since water is, uh, oxygen is slightly ne electronegative and this is slightly electropositive, this is a ten slightly positive and negative charge here in water and they form hydrogen bond. Similarly here also they form a hydrogen bond actually, if you see that's why it is, uh, it is solid, right, because the hydrogen bond it forms this kind of structure and that's why it is solid. So if you see any solid uh, just keep in mind if you have any solid uh, elements, it has to have some cage like structure. Without cage like structure, it won't be solid. For example, water is a little liquid because it has some structure, but the bonding is not that strong. It is a little strong bonding here, so it has solid structure. If you see the diamond, it is more solid structure, so it is very hard. So, if it is solid, it has to have some structure. Looking at this picture, only you can say that since it is solid, it has to have some structure. And the structure comes from hydrogen bond. The hydrogen bond helps uh, this boric acid to get this kind of structure. So normally when you think of acid, you think of very strong acid with a liquid uh, shape or a liquid uh, state. But in this case, it is not the case. The boric acid is uh, solid and this acid is a Lewis acid actually. We will talk about that. Let us discuss something more on the boric acid. It is a monobasic acid actually, we will discuss more on this now. So the way to prepare this uh, boric acid is nothing but you acidify the borax solution. So you have this borax in it to be poro 7 this is something we know, right? You take this uh, hydrochloric acid in water and make it aqueous and then you react, you get this boric acid. Very easy to prepare, so from the borax you can easily prepare boric acid by acidifying it in an aqueous solution. You can also form this by boron compounds. You have this uh, halides, hydrides. From that also you can form the boric acid. And as I told, it is a layer structure with the hydrogen bond. If you see, this is my uh, single BOS3 uh, molecule, but it doesn't exist uh, in this fashion. It is the cage-like structure with the hydrogen bond between oxygen and hydrogen. Right? The next as I told that the uh, boric acid is weak monobasic acid. It looks like it has three hyd uh, hydrogen molecules so it, it should give three hydrogen but no it is a monobasic acid because if you see because it doesn't uh, uh, produce three hydrogen ions. It, it, it is not a protonic acid. It is a Lewis acid right. It is all acid because the boron is uh, electron hungry. Correct. Correct? It, it doesn't donate uh, proton. It doesn't, it no proton donor. It is not a proton donor. The reason why it is acidic is because the boron is hungry of electron, so it's an electron acceptor actually. Right? So normally acid, see, the, the way you define acid generally is the one which can give X plus ions or the one which can take electrons. So normally most of the acid we thought, think of is hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, they are strong acids and they are proton donors because they can donate H plus ions in the aqueous solution. But this guy, boric acid is not capable of donating H plus ions in the uh, aqueous solution and that's why it is not a proton protonic acid. Most of the acid we think is protonic acid because they have capability of donating pro H plus protons ions in the aqueous solution. But this guy is not a protonic acid because it is a weak Lewis acid and it is acid because it has a, it's a electron hungry. Correct? So and if you see the K is also very less for this. It's very weak, it's, it's 10 to the power minus 9. So uh, out of 10 to the power 9 molecules, only one molecule accepts the electrons. Very, very weak uh, monobasic acid. 
correct so the moment it reacts with water it water has an extra electron pair it accepts that pair and it becomes this compound correct it is not a for please understand this is a acid it's a very critical concept here boric acid is acid but it is not a protonic acid it is not having extra protons to donate right so it is not capable of giving protons it is just that the boron there is electron hungry it accepts the electron pair so it is acid and on heating this uh, boric acid above 370 kelvin b forms the metabolic acid hbo2 and when you heat it further it gives boric oxide b2o3 so you have this boric acid you heat it you get metabolic acid you again further heat it you get boric oxide this is the property of the boric acid you heat boric acid uh, you get uh, metabolic acid and then boric oxide boric oxide metabolic acid and then boric oxide let's talk about the uses of boric acid now the first use is the enamels the enamels which we use in our home to paint the windows that is uh, used uh, boric acid is used there it is also used to prepare heat resistant glass it is also used to prepare antiseptics it is used to prepare preservatives to preserve food for example the sauce the canned food uh, which we use right the, the juices the canned juice they use boric acid to preserve and is also used as eye drop eye drop the boric acid if you see the word acid the moment of thinking word of you might, the moment you think of word acid, you must think of word uh, attributed, right? Attributed, it should be very uh, hard, harsh. But boric acid, if you see, it's not a proton donor, it's a monobasic acid. So it is used in the eye. And that's the only acid which you can use in eye. Any other acid, if you use in eye, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, your eye will burn. So don't try to use this, uh, any other acid in your eye. The boric acid is the only acid which you use in eye because it is not a proton donor, it's not harsh. It is just the name acid is given because Levis acid and it accepts electron pair. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and matchbook. Thanks once again.